Hi, this is Bob Euland, and today is July 31st, 2013. Today we shall learn how to make a simple list from which a user can choose. For instance, if we click on Eric, it appears here. If he clicks on Adam, it comes here. If he if he presses the I key, Ivan is automatically chosen. Click on D key, David is chosen, and so on. So you can choose whatever you want from this list. Let's make this application from scratch. So open up Xcode and choose File New Project. We will make a Coke application and let's call it something like Table View. Click on Next. Put it somewhere. I'll put it on the desktop. Let's begin. We will begin by making a table view controller, which will control our, our table. So file new file. Objective C class. Next, let's call it table view controller. Subclass of NS object. Next. Now it's very important that you click here on the targets. Create. And there we have our class. Let's take away this rubbish. We want our table view controller to control our table view. So we will implement two protocols. The first one is called NS Table View Data Source, and the second is called NS Table View Delegate. So, we also want to have access to our table view, so we will create an outlet, which we will have as a property, property, weak, IB outlet, which will point to a class NS table, table view. and we will call it table view. We will also point to a text field where we can put the chosen row. So we have a property week IB outlet NS text field, let's call it text field. Let's now go to our interface builder and uh, here we will create a table view controller instance. So write an S object and take this object, put it here and uh, click here on the identity inspector and the class table view controller. So now we have it there 
let's go to our window and let's drag a NS table view. like this and observe that it has multiple parts also let's drag a text view we can take a simple label so let's configure these two components we can begin with a uh, label We will not have any text from the beginning. We can choose this border, make it a little higher. Let's go to our table view. First, we don't want to have any horizontal scrolling. Let's take that away. Let's go to the clip view, open it up, and there you have the table view. Let's say that we want just one column. The user cannot select the entire column. We don't want that, so let's take that away. Uh, type select we want to keep. Now let's also open this up and go to the text field cell. And text field cell we don't want to have editable, so select none. We don't want the user to mess to mess with the contents. So let's also go here and make it just one, one column. So it looks okay. Let's now do some connecting from our table view controller we will go to the table view and we will go to the text field now let's mark the table view right click and from data source drag to our table view controller and from delegate drag to our table view controller Okay, let's now go back and uh, we will control with what's inside the table view by having an array. N S array. N S array. Let's call it something like array. Let's go to the implementation and on away from nib we want to put some value in our array array equals and let's put some names here Let's also tell it to reload the data. Our table view is a property, so it's self table view. Reload data. Okay. And now we want to implement the protocols. The first protocol, protocol will be the data source protocol. 
And the second protocol will be the will be the delegate protocol. So I'm just making pragma to be able to uh, keep them apart. So here we will have two methods and here we will have one method. And to see what methods we shall use, let's go to the documentation. Let's first look at uh, an stable view data source. Alt click and go to the reference. Click on the tasks. And here you will see two important methods. It's the number of rows in table and also table view object value for table column. If we look at this first, we see that it begins with NS integer number and so on. So that's what we need. And then the Xcode can autocomplete. And the other one starts with ID table view. So let's go back and uh, go to implementation. And here it was NS integer. And then it started with number. Yes, and now the uh, auto completion kicks in. So we can go to the end. And here we should return the number of elements in our array, which is array, array count. That's all. And the second one is ID, and it started with table view. Here we have it. All the completion kicks in. And here we should return return ah, return array object at index row because it asked row and that's what we are using here. So that takes care of data source. Now delegate. Let's go to delegate. Alt click. Go to documentation. And here click on selecting rows. And we see a method here called table view selection did change. Go there. Uh, let's copy it this time. Go back. Go to implementation. Paste it in. So this will be called when the table view changes, when the selection changes. And uh, here we have to get the selected row. Now, the selected row, our table view keeps track of it. In fact, if we go back and click on NS table view, alt click, and go to its documentation, we will choose selecting columns and rows we have a method here called selected row which returns an ns integer so since we have our table view here we can just send it table table view selected 
row. And that will contain an integer, and as integer, let's call it index, table view selected row. Okay, now that we have that, we can uh, we can get our object from the from the array. Um, so let's say n as string name equals our array object at the index and we take the index which we just ca calculated so and now we can put that in our text field text so it was a property so we can write cells text field set String value name. Okay, let's build and run and see if there are any errors. Table view is unknown, yes, because this is a property, so you should say self table view. Let's try again. And here we have it. Click, click, press the I key, it goes to Ivan, Frederick, David, and so on. So, thank you for watching.